boop, 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 boop. Hey guys, and welcome to Biteable Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the secret achievements in the new King's Quest game. And the a lot of the achievements are very dialogue heavy. They they kind of have jokes to it, and and they're kind of witty. So uh, I'm gonna only do the intro, and the rest of the tutorial is gonna be purely video and game audio. So I hope you enjoy that. And this is every secret achievement for King's Quest. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. All right, I took a brief rest before I decided to adventure on with that very important treasure. right into a ferocious dragon's mouth. I was just making sure he was still paying attention. Uh, nope. I get hold of this. We are not supposed to be in this part of the story yet. Where did that river lead to? That is a story for another day. Get that blade away from my unicorns! I'm warning you! Hey, stop it! Those unicorns may look cute and cuddly, but they are ferocious fighters when provoked! You do that one more time and I won't be able to quell Mr. Fancy Cake's vehement temper! Hey! Uh. <laughs> How did his cape taste, Mr. Fancy Cakes? Ha <laughs> 
Why would you walk into a patch of spiniferous thorn weeds? Well, uh, <clears throat> I didn't. I thought about it for a while, though. I was thirsty. I'm remembering this wrong. Wait a second. Ha! Oh, what a peculiar trap. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. And that's why you shouldn't wolf down your food. Grandpa! Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> On the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy is no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He seems to be a bold soul, primed to take devotry head on. However, he is one who needs to think a little more before he acts if he's going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that part. 
I should probably ask first before I go dipping things in there. Yes, son? So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's got to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening. Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Fare thee well. May your brain be filled with knowledge. Go ahead and dunk it. Astounding. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. Bees! I ruined the bees' day and <laughs> that lovely meal. A new kind of horn, but the same result. The horn reeked of toothpaste and cabbage. Luckily, those were flavors I liked. Mmm, so toothpasty. So cabbagey. Yep, I blew on that horn five times. Well, six times. After a while, I lost count of how many times I blew on that horn. Then I remembered I blew the horn at least eight times. I should get a trophy or an achievement for how many times I blew on that horn. I continued to blow on that horn, but my mind was silent. Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. I was too slow to catch those frogs. I tried again, but it was no use. Did I ever tell you about the time I tried to catch a frog? It was riveting. <laughs> Grandpa. After trying for hours to catch those frogs, I was exhausted and thought I was going to croak. Not funny. <laughs> 
I had to be careful with my cape while sliding around for those frogs. I didn't want to rip it. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Dad jokes or grandpa jokes? All right, all right, enough words. I'm starting to get a frog in my throat. <laughs> But I had something to prove. Uh, hey! Whatever's down here, it's mine. There wasn't much to see that way, so I turned around and went back. <clears throat> like I said, I took a small detour, enjoyed some pretty rocks, and then headed back to follow a chuck. I know the dragon is this way, Grandpa. I had no knowledge of any dragons, so I headed back the way I came. I think you kept going. Fine, I kept going, fully knowing there was nothing to see down that way and not getting my hopes up that there would be. As I said, nothing. Just a dead end and disappointment. Really? Are you sure nothing happened there? Well, there was something I always wanted to do. Echo! That's it? Yep. All right, I may have also maybe used the privacy to practice my art. I don't think that was it. You don't? Well, I think you used the opportunity to do a silly dance. Is my story boring you that much? All right, Twinkle Toes. Let's see those moves. Uh, fine. And after I danced at that dead end, I climbed down the rope and continued my adventure. So that was all the secret achievements in King's Quest. I uh, hope you enjoyed. That was uh, Biteable Gaming. I'm Buddy, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.